Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I really, really am so excited to start this video and tell you guys my whole journey with my scalp because guys, it has been a struggle of mine for years. Ever since a child, I've always had like a really itchy, dry scalp, but being a natural now and having all of these products and trying new products and being a product junkie, I get a lot of product build up sometimes if I use the wrong combinations or the wrong product or too much product, which always leads to an irritated scalp. And I know I'm not the only one, so I had to come on here and just show you my new routine and how I get rid of this really itchy, dry, annoying scalp. So let's get straight into it and I'm going to share my tips with you. So I didn't just come on here without having a bad scalp. I thought, let me actually do this video when I do have a bad scalp so I can actually show you guys how bad it is. So I'm just going to zoom into my scalp. I hope you guys can see too. But this is like the baddest it's been in a long, long time. And I did just start a new product combination. So I'm not sure if it's just not working well for my hair. Or if I've just not been very moisturising with my hair. Or I haven't been cleansing it correctly. Because I did use a new cleanser too. Um, yeah. Oh wow. You can see guys. It's real, 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 real bad. When I get into this predicament, I make sure that I go to my go-to products that I know are going to fix my scalp. And those are the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Shampoo with Shea Butter, Peppermint and Apple Cider Vinegar. Now, I would usually do an Apple Cider Vinegar Rinse, but I don't actually have pure apple cider vinegar here today but i'm going to leave the link to that video below because i did a whole video on apple cider vinegar but this shampoo i really love because it does have apple cider vinegar in it you can see it's really dark and it, you can actually see the apple cider vinegar in it, it smells quite strong and the peppermint this shampoo always solves my scalp issues. I do use a shampoo at the moment from Naughty, which is a moisturising shampoo, but I've noticed that I feel like sometimes I need to make sure that I do this shampoo at least once a month. So I've learnt my lesson now because clearly I've got a build up that I need to clear. So I know that this is going to really, really do it for me. So I'm going to go ahead and shampoo my hair with this. But now I have a special tool. That really, really, really helps. And this is a scalp massaging shampoo brush. I never, never used one, one before, but I have a business called Oh So Curly. So this is one from my business. And we've just released this new product. It's got silicone bristles that are very flexible, as you can see. And it's very soft, not too harsh on the scalp. But it's just so nice to like give your scalp a massage because I don't feel like I do scalp massages as much as I should do. So when I'm shampooing my hair, I like to use this because it makes sure that the shampoo gets to every single part of the scalp. Because if you're like me and you have thick hair, it is so difficult to know if you're actually getting the shampoo to every single part of your scalp. And if you are a curly that uses a non-foaming shampoo or like only co-wash, you definitely want to get something like this just to make sure that you're covering every single part of your scalp and you can always use it for just scalp massages as well so if you get some hot oil and put it into your scalp and then you want to massage with this instead of using your fingers or getting like your fingernails all dirty so this is a great tool i'll leave the link to this down below and i'll also show you guys how i use it when i feel like my scalp really needs it i will also go ahead and do like a natural oil treatment and apply this to my scalp before I shampoo. So I've got some black castor oil, like pure Jamaican black castor oil and also some pure peppermint, um, not peppermint oil, tea tree oil, which is really, really good antiseptic. So if it is dandruff, I'm definitely going to cure that using these before I even go ahead and use the apple cider vinegar shampoo. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little scalp massage with these two and then I'm going to go in with my shampoo and then show you guys if my scalp is clear because right now mm -mm, we cannot be dealing with this. We cannot be dealing with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix the oils in my the palm of my hand and then just apply it with my fingertips for now. So you never, never want to apply tea tree oil or peppermint oil directly to your scalp. Essential oils can be very, very strong and it can actually burn the scalp. So you want to make sure that you mix in with another oil. So obviously I'm going to mix the Jamaican black castor oil with the tea tree. So yeah, I've got my black castor oil in my palm and then I'm going to put a drop or two of the tea tree oil 
into my palm too. Not too much, so just two drops should be enough. So we've got one, two. So two drops of tea tree. Already that is so strong, I can smell it. So you wanna make sure that you mix it together really, really well. Mix, mix, mix. And I'm gonna apply it to my fingertips also. And then I'm gonna go into my scalp and just massage. So that is the most severe part of my hair. So I'm just making sure that I massage gently that part. As you can see, you can even apply the oil to the hair too. I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair with the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. And I'll show you guys how I'm gonna use the brush and then I'm gonna rinse it out. And I probably will go ahead and use a deep conditioner that includes honey. Cause honey is really, really good for getting rid of any bacteria and it's a humectant. So it's very naturally moisturizing. If I had it on me right now, I would show you guys, but I actually can't find it. So I'm gonna go ahead and find it, shampoo my hair, rinse it out and hopefully show you guys my clear scalp. Because at the moment it is in dire need dire dire need so this shampoo does foam but it's very moisturizing as well as you can see it goes white like a conditioner i'm just going to apply this all over all in my eye and then i like to part it in the middle just so i can see my actual scalp and that i'm getting to my scalp you want to really make sure that you cover the part in and you're reaching the scalp and then this is when our scalp massager is going to come in handy. And I'm just going to massage the shampoo in. Just how you would use your fingers, but this gets right in, as you can see, right in. Right into the scalp. And you can get up and under. Mm, no, oh my god, my scalp has been so itchy. And this is such a good way to itch the scalp because it is not harmful at all. You can even brush with this brush as well. And I'm actually going to shampoo twice just to make sure that I'm getting all of this dandruff out of my hair. Because we cannot be dealing with that. Cool, so I'm just going to go ahead and rinse that out, shampoo again, I won't have to show you guys that part, and then I'm going to rinse it out, put my deep conditioner in, and then show you guys my results afterwards. So I am so excited because my hair is freshly washed and I just did a check and all of that dandruff and dry hair has gone. Dry scalp has gone. No more flakes. I feel like a new woman, no more itchiness. No more flakes. Now I can just go ahead and style my hair without the worry of product buildup and flakes everywhere and me getting itchy and then the flakes getting on my forehead and all of that mess. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to check out how I do my wash and goes, there are loads of videos on that on my channel. I'll leave them down below. I don't want to bore you with another wash and go tutorial, but I thought this would be really, really helpful for those who have scalp difficulties. And as you can see, proof is in the pudding. That definitely helped me get rid of that damage off an itchy scalp so i hope you enjoyed guys please stay tuned and i'll catch you in the next video bye